fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come, Silver! Let go of me, I'm Silver! In a camp hidden in the hills outside of Pine Rock, the Lone Ranger waited for his Indian companion, Tonto, who had gone to town to have his horse scout shot at the blacksmith shop. As the afternoon wore on, the Lone Ranger, becoming restless, took his saddle and bridle and walked toward his great white stallion, Silver. Steady, Philip. Yes, you're as restless as I am, Silver. Just a minute now. Ride toward town to meet Tonto. Exercise will do you good. There. Guess that cinch is tight enough, huh, boy? Here's your bridle. Steady now. There, that's got it. Now for the throat latch. You and I have a job to do in the next few days. Oh! oh. later, the Lone Ranger stirred. Then he struggled to his feet, and leaning on Silver for support, he gingerly placed his hand to the crimson line across his temple, where he had been creased by a bullet. My, my head. Somebody shot me. I... A mask. Why? Why am I wearing a mask? This, this horse, I must have been riding, fallen off. Be all right in a minute, but I... I can't remember. Maybe I... No, no. I just can't be a, an outlaw. But the mask. If I could only remember. Horse seems to know me. Must be my own horse. Maybe... Maybe I'd better leave here. Have to leave. If I could... I could remember something, anything, but I can't, I can't. I have to ride on, go somewhere, if I can manage to mount. Oh, boy, oh, find water. I have to find some water first. Get up, fella. For a moment, Silver stood uncertainly, 
waiting for the familiar order of, come on, Silver. Then sensing that something was wrong, but used to obeying his beloved master, the faithful stallion started from the camp at a slow pace. It was almost two hours later when Tonto returned from Pine Rock and reined up in the deserted camp. Polka, hold her. Easy. Well, that's strange. Lone Ranger not at camp. <coughs> what matter, Scout? Ah, me hear him now. Him coming back. Oh. Oh, Silver. Easy. Steady, big fella. Kimasabi, what matter? You wear him wet clothes. Have him red streak on temple. I was here in camp getting ready to mount Silver to go meet you. And there was a shot. The next thing I knew, I was waiting in the river with Silver beside me. I came right back to camp. But I don't remember anything that happened between the time I was hit and when I found myself in the water. Well, that's strange. The impact of the bullet must have caused temporary amnesia, Tonto. A temporary loss of memory. How long you gone from camp, Kimasabi? Well, I remember the sun was still high when I saddled Silver. Now the sun is setting. It must have happened about two hours ago at least. Well, that not good. Oh. What do you mean? Me bring bad news from Pine Rock. Bad news? Ah. While me wait for Scout and Blacksmith at end of town, me hear plenty shooting. Heap much excitement. Oh, what happened? Bank get robbed. The bank robbed? Ah. Them say mask man on white horse and wearing white Stetson hold up bank. Someone impersonating me. Ah. Me meet him posse. They track outlaw to river. Lose him trail there. I see... After I'm rested, perhaps we could go on a... Tonto. Me know what you think of Me know you're not outlaw. But when I came to my senses, I was in the river. I wouldn't have done anything like that. I know it. Well, that right. But I don't remember anything that happened during those two hours. Kimasabi, you not worry. But don't you see, Tonto? Even if I am innocent, I can't prove it. Even to myself. I, I'll never rest easy until I know for sure. I've got to know. That night, the Lone Ranger fell into a fitful sleep. His was a mind that had always been clear thinking, quick, decisive, compelling. Clean living and clean, forceful thinking had made him a legendary figure noted for his courage and integrity. Never before had his brain had to cope with uncertainty concerning his own actions. As the Lone Ranger slept, accusing voices held court within his imaginative mind. Oh, He's the one, Chuck. No. He's the outlaw that robbed the bank. He can't deny it either. <laughs> can't remember. I can't remember anything. I... Says he can't remember, Judge. That's all he can say. But he rides a white horse and wears that mask and white steps and like the outlaw. And he was hiding in the river. I say we ought to string him up right now. Uh, no, no. I can't remember, but I'm no outlaw. He's the armory who's supposed to uphold law and order. Can you beat that? Bring him out. He's a dirty owl. Take off his mask right now. Let's see that hypocrite. He don't remember. <laughs> no, no, I'm not an outlaw, I tell you. Laugh, laugh, all of you. Go ahead, but I'm not an outlaw. I just can't remember, that's all. I just can't re... Kimasabi, Kimasabi. Huh, huh? Toto. You haven't dreamed. Yes, I was dreaming. I'm trying hard to remember what I Here, did. Here, me bring him herb tea. You drink, then you sleep better. <laughs> Thanks, Tonto. There, that good. You not try to remember now. You get rest. Then we find who fires shot, who robbed uh, bank. Oh, yes. Yes, we've got to find them. I'll never rest until we do. Following morning, the Lone Ranger and Tonto made their plans. I feel much better this morning, Tonto, thanks to you. Now you sleep good after you have a herb tea. Yes. Now we'll have to make up for lost time. What we do first? We came out here to Pine Rock because of two other robberies. The person who fired the shot at me 
Must have had something to do with them. Not right. I was sure no one knew we were here or why we came. Me not savvy how anyone know. Since someone posing as the Lone Ranger robbed that bank yesterday, I'll have to disguise myself as a rancher and appear without my mask. Then what do you do? I'm going into Pine Rock and talk to the banker. Perhaps I can find out something. Now you can help me with a disguise, and we'll head for town. I won't give up until I find the men I'm looking for. Later that morning, the Lone Ranger, disguised as a wealthy rancher, rode up to the hitch rack in front of the small wooden building that served as a bank. Tonto followed a short distance behind. Before leaving camp, Tonto had rubbed a moist yellow clay over Silver's usually glossy white coat, making it the shade of a palomino. The Lone Ranger reined up sharply. Oh, sir, oh, oh, is that every clock? I help you, mister? I came to see the head of the bank. Is he here? Mr. Carter? Yes, he's in. Just knock on that door back there. Oh, thanks. I understand you're the head of this bank, Mr. Carter. Yes, that's right where I am. Uh, come in, mister. Uh, uh, have a chair, have a chair, sir. Thanks. You're uh, new around here, aren't you? I hear you had a little trouble yesterday. Yes, we sure did. Got robbed of a lot of money. It won't happen again, though, I promise you that. So if you want to... I hear the, the outlaw rode a white stallion, wore a black mask. Also wore a white Stetson hat. <clears throat> you sure got it straight, mister. And in this territory, we all know who that description fits. Really? Whom does it fit? A mask hombre called the Lone Ranger, that's who. Of course, I always heard he helped the law. But this proves he's nothing but another outlaw. Have they picked up his trail yet? Well, he headed for the river west of here. Then he managed to cover his tracks. My assistant, Sid Tallman, went to Pecos yesterday on business. And uh, on the way back, he ran into the posse and rode back to town with him. Sid says the outlaw must have had a hideout along the river someplace. Too bad the posse didn't catch him. It would have meant a lot to me if they had. <clears throat> you mean you have an interest in seeing the Lone Ranger caught, too? The outlaw who robbed this bank yesterday had done me a lot of harm. In fact, he robbed me, too. Oh, uh, you said you were sure he wouldn't attempt another robbery. What makes you so sure? Well, now, that's what Sid Tallman said last night. Really? <laughs> yep. Sid says, Mr. Carter, don't worry about it happening again. That mask hombre won't ever try it again. So I says, well, how do you know, Sid? And he says, I just feel sure, that's all, so don't worry. Hmm. You, uh, you see, Sid Smart, he has a way of knowing things somehow. Oh, well, where is he now? Right out there. I'll call him in a minute. Good. Uh, see, Sid Tallman, come in here a minute. Eh? Right. The, uh, the stranger's interested in that masked outlaw. It seems the opera robbed him once. Did what did you lose? Does it matter? Someday he'll be caught. Don't count on it. He's a smart hombre, mister. You seem to know a lot about him, Tallman. I've heard a lot about him. Why? What of it? Oh, nothing. Only from what Mr. Carter says, you're quite positive that the outlaw won't come back. I wonder what makes you so positive. I was positive, mister, but... You're covered. Don't make him. <coughs> no, she hears it. What on earth? Why the drawn gun, Tallman? Because I'm not positive now that the outlaw won't come back, Mr. Lone Ranger. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. When Sid Tallman suddenly drew his gun, the Lone Ranger, startled by this unexpected action, sat for one tense moment. Then he spoke quietly. What gives you the idea that I am the outlaw who robbed the bank yesterday, Tallman? After you came inside, I took a minute to inspect your horse close up. I found he really is a white stallion, mister. You did a good job of disguising both yourself and your horse. Hey, but Sid, hold on. You you could be mistaken about if this. If I'm mistaken, I'll apologize. Right now, Mr. Carter, I suggest you go get the sheriff and have him come over here. <clears throat> well, I... Uh... Go ahead, Mr. Carter. I'm not afraid to face the sheriff. I'll, uh, I'll send someone after him. Now, go yourself. No use exciting the others about this. I'll keep him covered here until you bring the sheriff back with you. Well, all right. I'll be back with the sheriff in a few minutes. You seem mighty sure of yourself, Tallman. <laughs> I guess you're surprised to find others can outsmart you. Not at all. Though you aren't as smart as you think you are. Or you wouldn't stand there with your back to the rear door. That's an old stall, mister. But I won't fall for it by turning around. <laughs> I'm keeping my eyes and gun right on you until uh, I... Oh. Good work, fellow. I was afraid he'd hear the door swinging open. Now, me see him look at Silver. No, him, him suspect. Me bring horses round back. Listen at door. We leave now. Well, I don't... Men coming. Kimisabe, hurry. Right. Shooting from that doorway in a moment. Set him up. Come on, Come on, scout. Oh, Silver. Oh, Silver. Oh, Silver. Oh, Silver. We'll have to hurry, Tonto. Won't take the sheriff long to get a posse together. And I feel sure Tallman will lead them here to our camp. Ah, me clean silver right away. Good. Perhaps I'll think out a plan when I change my disguise. There must be some way to get proof, and I'm going to find it. A short time later, the two men broke camp. And with Tonto at his side, a lone ranger wearing his mask rode his silvery white stallion along the trail. We'll backtrack a short way, Tonto. And we'll hide in an arroyo near the trail. Watch the posse ride by. I want to see if Tallman is leading them to our former campsite. They're arroyo to left, Kimasabi. Yes, that will serve all right. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Easy, fella, easy. Easy now. Oh, oh there. Oh, Scott. Easy, Scott. Easy. We shouldn't have long to wait. Well, that's right. We're able to see trail from here. Them not able to see us. They do see us. I won't. I think I hear the posse coming now. Ah, me hear them. Quiet, Silver. Hmm. Sid Tallman isn't riding with the posse. Well, that's strange. Yes. That gives me an idea, Toto. What do you think of? We'll ride to the outskirts of town. I'll wait in hiding for you there while you go on to the bank. Me go to bank? Yes. Tallman didn't get a look at you. We left so fast, I'm sure no one else did. What me do at bank? See, Tallman. Tell him you couldn't locate the sheriff, so you came there to the bank. He's a big fella. I'll tell you what else to say as we ride toward town. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Sometime later, Carter and Tallman were talking in the office at the bank. What I don't understand is why you see yeah. it. <clears throat> Come in. There's an Indian here, sir. He seems to have news about the gold that was taken yesterday. Hey, what's that? Let him come in. Yes, sir. You go right in. Ah, you may not find him, Sheriff. Me come to the bank about stolen gold. Well, what about the gold? Speak up, Indian. Me find where outlaw hide gold up river. Me ask about Sheriff. The sheriff rode toward the river with a posse a while ago. Then me go. Find him, Sheriff. Uh, no, wait a minute. Uh, tell us what you know about the stolen gold. Me only tell Sheriff. Me go now. Try to find posse near river. Well, uh, hold on, Indian. Adios. Well, confound that cluish mouth redskin. I wonder what he found out. Maybe he knows where the outlaw's hideout is. Maybe this is a chance to get that lone ranger once and for all. <laughs> The 
The Lone Ranger and Tonto waited behind some large boulders near the edge of town. A short time later, they saw a horseman leave the bank. Then they followed a safe distance until finally they came to the river. They saw their quarry about a quarter of a mile upstream, riding in the shallow water along the river bank. Unhesitatingly, they entered the water and followed. Right, easy, big fellow. Along this section of the river, Tonto, the bank rises into a steep bluff. His hideout must be just offshore under the bluff. Now, if the posse rode up this way yesterday, they would have missed it. Look. He's turning toward the bank now. Ah. There's an old shack built against the bluff on the river bank. Both of them. Hold that, Scout. Look. White horse alongside of shack, Kimasabi. That could have been the horse used in the robbery. Might also mean there's someone waiting there, too. That right? Hello. Get back on the river trail and ride downstream. Find the sheriff and his posse. Bring them here. Ah, me get them, sheriff. Pronto. Get them up, Scout. After Tonto left to find the sheriff, the Lone Ranger urged Silver forward cautiously until a short distance from the shack he came to a ledge-like strip of riverbank under the bluff. He turned Silver from the water up onto this strip, then reined up. Oh, Silver, oh. Easy, easy now. Well, big fella, we're close enough to prevent anyone from leaving that shack until the posse arrives. The rest here and... Reach me soon, quick! What the... Thought you'd sneak up on us, eh? You did take me by surprise. We saw you come around the bend yonder, so I come out the back way to give you a reception. The boss wants to see you in the shack, so start walking. All right. I heard of that trick horse of yours, too. So see that he stays where he is, or I'll plug him. Still, Silver. Quiet, fella. Now get going. <laughs> I reckon this time the boss will make sure he gets rid of you for good. You got him cold, boss. He is. Well, this is a surprise. Carter, the banker. So now you know. <laughs> but it won't do you any good. This time I'll make sure I shoot straight. I owe Tallman an apology for suspecting him. Tallman's a fool. I've got this gun pointed right at his heart. While you're behind him, Bert, drop his guns to the floor with your free hand. Huh? Right. Good. Now keep your gun at his back while I get the bags of gold from under the floorboard, huh? <laughs> Well, there's plenty here for both of us, Bert. <laughs> and here's the mask and hat I I used when I rode Bert's white horse and posed as a lone ranger. So far, so good. Now what, Carter? First, I'll put a couple of bullets in you. Then I'll have a look under that mask of yours. Afraid to remove my mask while I'm alive? No, not afraid, just cautious. I've heard of your... Smart tricks. And I'm taking no chances. You won't get away with this, Carter. When they miss you at the bank, they'll figure <laughs> out that... I'm I'll... smarter than you think. I'll pack the gold in the saddlebags of Bert's white horse. We'll leave you here dead. I'll ride to Pecos and wait while Bert goes to the sheriff. Go on. <laughs> oh, Bert, tell the sheriff I tracked the Lone Ranger here. He killed me and tossed me into the river. Then you shot him, huh? <laughs> I got it all straight. Well, they uh, search for the gold, but of course they won't find it. You can uh, pass off the Lone Ranger's white horse as your own and lead mine back as proof he killed me. Quite a plan, if it works. It'll work all right. After things die down, I'll join Carter and Pecos and get my share. Don't tell me you're fool enough to think Carter will wait for you in Pecos to divide that gold. Don't listen to him, Brad. I'll be waiting for you there. And uh, you're not so smart yourself, Carter. Huh? This man knows your secret. You pull that bank job alone, and he knows it. He can blackmail you the rest of your life. Just so I get what's coming to me, I won't. <laughs> Look, Brad. I'll keep him covered. 
You put up your gun and carry these bags outside. All right. Oh, I got two of them. I'll come back for the other two. Wait a minute. Hey, you took my gun. That's right, Bert. Now I'll drop the bag. But why drop did you... Drop the bags, I said. <laughs> you know, Bert, what he said set me thinking. You'd be the only one to have the goods on me, so I'm changing my plan. What do you mean? I've got to get rid of you, too. No, wait, Connor, you can't do it. Oh. Now for you, Mr. Lone Ranger. And this time I won't miss. No pain. You all right, Mr. Sully? Yes. Feel better with my guns, though. This Indian met us just a short way down the trail. We sneaked up on the shack and saw Carter shoot down that hombre. I'll see if he's live. Carter robbed the bank. He posed as the Lone Ranger. He double-crossed. Oh, he fainted. Got a bad wound, but he'll pull through all right. This clears you, mister. I've heard about you and that mask, so I don't need to ask any questions about that. I'm sure glad to find out you didn't do it, I can tell you that. I'm very glad to find out for sure myself, Sheriff. Huh? Come on, Toto. We better go now. Ah. Uh, what's he talking about? Hey, Sheriff, what did the masked man mean by that? Yeah. Uh, if I know. But I heard Teddy can't figure out what he might do next. So I reckon you can't figure out what he'll say next, either. There's just no telling about that Lone Ranger, as far as I can see. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.